Well, this is some exclusive video you'll see here of fireworks booming in a neighborhood in Ahwatukee. And uh, this is not just the beginning of an innocent night of fun here. It gets pretty drastic because moments later, those fireworks ignite a bush right near wow. a house, right next to an electrical box. Yeah, it caused some pretty bad damage yeah. to that front yard at 48th Street and Ray in Ahwatukee. Kim Powell brings us the exclusive details. This is what's left of the bush after it caught on fire. The people who threw the fireworks were all the way on the other end of this cul-de-sac, but by the time it came here and exploded, it ended up on the other end of the driveway. My mom's always said, fire, flutter, blood. If it's not that, don't wake her up. But on Sunday, just before 3 a.m., there was a fire. I run out of my room. So Matthew Rogers ran to wake up his mom, who was already wondering what that loud boom was. I heard my son's now heavily pitter-patter coming down the hallway with the knock that said, Mom, something's on fire out front. By the time they got inside, their bush was almost fully engulfed with flames. Nikki McCauley grabbed their garden hose to put it out before it spread any further. No emergency services were needed. We got it all under control. Once the fire was out, they ran back in to check their security cameras, which captured a white truck stopped at the end of the cul-de-sac and then two people getting out. And there's some chatter and discussion between the two people in the vehicle. Then you can see a person light something and then throw it towards their house. <laughs> I think those were the fireworks that were meant to go up in the sky. I don't think those were the traditional ones you would buy at the local market to celebrate the holidays. Even Nikki's truck at the end of the driveway was damaged by the firework. In the video, you can see that all of the explosion, explosion and the soot and the ash end up all over the truck and the little burn marks go through the clear coat. Nikki says they didn't let this deter their day at the lake they had already planned, but hopes it doesn't happen to anyone else. We're just hoping that the community just watches out for each other and knows that it's always safety first and fun second. Nikki said she filed a police report in case something like this happens again. Phoenix police tell us that this could range in charges from criminal damage all the way up to aggravated assault. Reporting in Ahwatukee, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.